here at the Vancouver Aquarium, we learn about some of the animals and how they have contributed to scientific research. Like Rogue, a 20-year-old sea lion who has spent most of her life at the aquarium and recently gave birth to her pup, Natoa. Rogue was part of a research study in collaboration with the University of British Columbia. Jessica De Benedetto is the assistant curator at the Vancouver Aquarium. She says the animals have played a role in influencing and changing policies that have helped protect other animals in the wild. Stellar sea lions were disappearing out in the ocean and we didn't really know why. Um, so her as well as some of the animals that she grew up with here at the aquarium um, have really contributed to science and ha our understanding as to um, stellar sea lions, their needs, their metabolic needs, their feeding needs. Benedetto says researchers think climate change and overfishing have contributed to the decline of stellar sea lions, as some of the sea lions here eat up to 50 pounds of food a day. So there is possibly a change, a shift in the food that was available to them. So instead of a very high fat uh, diet that would help them give them the calories in order to exist out in the ocean, they were actually eating some lower calorie fish. So basically Basically the equivalent of if you were trying to survive off popcorn. And the sea otters have a lot of fans, like Danica Hollander, who has been a regular at the aquarium for 10 years. I love them all, but Joey is kind of extra special. Behind me here are the eight sea otters that were rescued as pups. The trainers here say because they didn't have a mother to nurture or teach them survival skills, they wouldn't be able to survive in the wild. These guys have really thick fur and this is the fur that they depend on um, to keep them nice and warm in our cold waters. Um, so mom's got to teach them how to groom that hair. Uh, they also have a really high metabolism and they need to eat a lot of food to feed that metabolism. These guys eat about a quarter of their body weight every single day and mom needs to teach them how to hunt for that food, collect that food and essentially break into that food because they're eating a lot of things in hard shells. She says the rescue center does a good job teaching orphaned pups how to survive but... But they're never going to do as good of a job as a mother sea otter. She says they've been deemed not releasable so they get to live here as ambassadors for their species. Seeing an otter in person and up close uh, can help create a special connection that can maybe inspire people to take care of their environment around them and inspire them to make choices to help the sea otters out in the ocean. In Vancouver, Angela Bauer, City News.